It's an evening of warmth and conviviality. The evening is also a special one because Realty is meeting with accomplished business community of a select few, the diplomatic corps and other distinguished guests. The Earl of Wessex, His Royal Highness Prince Edward, is in Nigeria. As they settle in, the gathering is treated to the capacity of young lads who have signed on to the International World for Young People, a project founded by the Duke of Edinburgh. As a tall, slim 16-year-old, my greatest weakness has always been public speaking. Whether it's a simple class presentation or uh, a speech in front of an auditorium filled with people, I could barely voice my thoughts out because of the anxiety I feel. My school assembly, Abomakali Girls School, served as a great start to put my skills to use. What skill? I decided to make the source of my weakness, my greatest strength, public speaking. We are putting our youngsters into an international alumni, um, an international network where they have a common um, achievement measured um, to high quality commonly across the world. The evening comes to a wrap, but not exactly a wrap for the real visitor. Less than 24 hours later, on a bright day, his Royal Highness Prince Edwards, in company of distinguished guests like the Chairman CEO of Channels Media Group, Mr. John Momo, former Commonwealth Secretary General Emeka Nyoku, former Attorney General of Lagos, Mr. Shuka Shashare, British Deputy High Commissioner, and others to see another aspect of the Nigerian spirit, the dexterity of our entertainment industry. <laughs> In his response, the prince couldn't hold back but eulogized the strong and resilient spirit of those who promote the true Nigerian project. Thank you. I think what comes across is that fantastic energy and, and life and dimension that Africa and particularly Nigeria brings to that and, and some great stories. It, it, it is that language, it is that ability to communicate across cultures and across borders, which is what this business is all about. A rewarding time it should be for the reality, judging by the quality of personality and engagement he's met during his endeavor here in the country. Olu Phillips, Channel of Television News.